But you mentioned that um, uh, helping wrinkles is just a um, myth. So well, yeah, for the most part, products that are designed for wrinkles, they are good moisturizers. Now, there are some ingredients that can have some impact on wrinkles, a small amount. Uh, certainly retinol, which uh, right. is it's a prescription level ingredient. So retinol does have some impact. Uh, certainly if you get a prescription, it mm -hmm. will. Uh, in non-prescription form, it doesn't have nearly the effect that it could. Uh, but if you're just looking for something, you know, get get some sort of retinol or retinol derivative, uh, right. that's your best bet. Another ingredient that could have some impact on uh, aging is niacinamide. Right. Um, and so there's another ingredient that uh, has some potential, but it's not uh, it's not a panacea. It's not going right. to you know prevent it too much. Right. But there's lots of other ingredients that are definitely unproven. Uh, you'll see stem cells, those have no effect. Really? Uh, things like oh. superoxide dismutase, they don't really have much either. Wow, thank you, because I was going to get some peptides. <laughs> so uh, I wanna, peptides I, are, peptides are, are just unproven at the moment, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't spend my money on them. Thank you, because I just I actually turned 27 yesterday, and I am so happy that I'm not investing in peptides. Uh, there's really two things you can do to uh, take care of your skin, mm -hmm. and the two most important things to do. Okay. Number one it is don't smoke. Smoking uh, creates wrinkles, and it's yep. terrible for your skin. And the second one is to uh, stay out of the sun as much as you can. Use a sunscreen. Uh, because UV damage is the second most uh, destructive thing that you can have. And so if you're not smoking and you're staying out of the sun as much as you can, you're going to have about the best skin as you can have. Wonderful. And that is what I do. 